Hold up, hold up. We jumped up a couple of other bucks. Look at all the bucks. And a melanistic, are you kidding me? There's been a lot of speculation saying that the white tail had been broken recently, and honestly, I kind of thought that they might have been as well. But that is until this happened. This buck right here, we took down a very similar buck in the exact same spot about a week ago with the recurve bow. Snuck up to him. He scored exactly 226. But this buck right here has a minimum estimate of 230. He's about 240 yards out. And also, we took down another buck with the muzzleloader, which is going to be this buck here. So both the bucks did come back. Because last time, I believe we took down that giant whitetail buck right out of that brush right there, maybe 50 yards away. So that basically means that they're still spawning in a very similar location as to where they were before so i think we're gonna take down this buck here had about 230 yards we had the 6.5 and then i kind of want to try and take down that buck as well because they're both perfectly broadside so let's see if we can't make this happen just smoke both of them that buck's not going far and he's down, that buck's not going far, and he's down right there. Yeah, I probably would have said that the whitetail were actually unhuntable before, but that is until this happened. And once I found that out, I thought I had to share the news with you guys to show you that the whitetail are apparently still huntable at this point. And we got a nice black bear out there. I think we can use a 6.5. That would have been an incredible shot if we placed in the right spot, which I think we did. He was about 300 out and I was holding for kind of the lower lung area, which should have dropped in there, but they're pretty tough. They're going to run quite a ways. We'll go over and go check on that in a second, but I do believe that that should take, yeah, it definitely took him down. He was about 300 out. We're zeroed in for 160 and I was holding high, so we probably hit somewhere in the lower lung. So here's both of our white tail bucks piled up right here, right next to each other. I think this is actually the second buck. We'll pick him up first. And that's going to be a double lung shot at 231 yards, a 187. Almost made gold. I think 193 is gold. That's a solid, solid buck right there. But this buck here is definitely going to be a really, really nice one. A 236 double lunged him at 231 yards with a 6.5 bolt action rifle. He's actually really, really wide and uh, has a bunch of points, but he just doesn't have the height to break that 240, 250s mark. Still an excellent white tail buck. Well, the black bear was standing right here and we definitely got a nice vital hit. I think he ran off this way. Let's see if we can't find him. Some more bud here and there he lays right there. He ran probably 200 yards. So I would say we probably got a single lung, but that's actually a gold potential black bear. So I do want to pick him up. And it's going to be a gold. We double lunged him at 291 yards on the walk with the 6.5. That's why I like the 6.5 so much because it has the super amount of accuracy and it has the penetration to back it up. So not only is it super accurate, but it also has really good penetration and you can put that shot right on the money. Take a look at that 291 yard double lung shot and a 19.6 gold black bear. That is pretty awesome. Now I found another herd of whitetail over here about a week ago and I came back here a couple different times. Haven't really seen any deer, but I came here today and take a look how many whitetail we have. We have two different bucks right there, a couple of does right there, but then there's a whole other herd right over here. And there's actually three more whitetail bucks back here. That one there might be actually a melanistic because he's kind of dark looking. He could be in the shadows, but it might actually be a rare. I want to get a little bit closer and get a better look at that buck though because he definitely has my interest and i think we can take that shot from right here uh it's not a melanistic man i thought it was so melanistic either way we definitely want to take him down he's a solid solid buck he's actually borderline gold potential and then i definitely want to take down this buck as well that one right there at about 213. so let's get on him smoked him and that buck's gonna take off on us and i don't know if we got him or not but well this buck definitely didn't go too far maybe about 50 yards the interior is piled up right here of course it's gonna start to rain again but that's gonna be a 182 double lung shot at 263 on him we got another gold potential white tail buck he's actually a max weight as well and he's about 280 yards out, but there's quite a few bucks in here. There's another buck back there, and there's another buck right over there. And the last couple times I've been here, I only had like one or two does. So this actually is a really, really good sign for this spot as well. So let's take the shot at 280. And 
And that was a perfect heart shot. Let's go get him. I wonder if uh, this rain has anything to do with us seeing all these white teal because it hasn't rained that much lately, but now it's been raining quite a bit more. I really don't like it though. I like the fact that we're seeing bucks, but I don't like the fact that it's raining so much. Hold up, hold up. We jumped up a couple of other bucks. Look at all the bucks. And a melanistic, are you kidding me? It's only a doe, but that is so cool. We jumped up a bunch of whitetail, and the whitetail are definitely huntable at this point. Unbelievable. I kind of want to take down one of those bucks as well, but uh, I was not going to pass up that melanistic doe. In fact, here's our big buck right here. Let's go pick up our melanistic doe right now. I hope we got a good enough hit into her. At least the second shot. First shot is going to be a non-vital. The second shot is also going to be a non-vital. So yeah, she shouldn't go too far. Yeah, she is not going far. And there she is piled up right there. Wow. A rare melanistic white-tailed doe. And what's interesting is I haven't really hardly hunted any white-tailed doe here. I always hunt only bucks, you know? But that right there is really, really cool. Take a look at that. And it's still raining, like I said before. The rain apparently makes the white tail come out. <laughs> but uh, let's take a cool picture and we'll pick her up. That is a melanistic and intestine stomach shot and then a vertebrae shot. But either way, we did take her down. And that thing is definitely going in the trophy lodge. And she looks so, so cool. Wow. That's a lot of tracks. Lots, lots of tracks. But let's pick up our buck, and that's going to be a 217, a perfect heart shot at 285 yards. Nothing but heart with a 6.5. Man, I love this rifle. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I hope you all know now that the whitetail are definitely huntable at this point because I've been to three different spots, and every spot is loaded with bucks at this point. And maybe like a week or two ago, I've been to these exact same spots, and I only saw does and a couple of small bucks. But today... The big bucks are definitely out. Okay, so I literally just changed the time so it could stop raining, and it stopped for about 10 seconds, and then it started again. I guess that's what we're going to have to do to hunt whitetail bucks, if that's going to bring them out at least. Anyways, I want to show you the spots that we hunted today. We hunted one buck right here on the top end of Calburn. We have a tent right here, and the whitetail were right here drinking at about 1,300. The next spot is over here at, uh, okay, yeah, over here. Um, I have a tent right here just south of the Norden outpost. We took down that big buck right there with a the heart shot. And the very first buck we got in the very beginning over here, I have a tent set up right here. And we took down the buck right here at about 1230 as well. And other than that, I do want to say we made a huge video yesterday that took me three days to actually record and probably, I don't know, eight to ten hours of editing. And uh, I definitely recommend going and checking that out. It's going to be called Hunting Every Animal in the Game with the 470 Nitro Express, the 2021 edition. Anyways, go and check that out right now. It's going to be in the link above and in the description below or something like that. Anyways, that's going to be it. Hope you guys have a really good rest of your weekend. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.